All right, here's a, a good question to um, try. Um, uh, it says we need to factor this. So a couple of different ways to factor it. First thing I would do is see if there's a common factor that you can take out. And I think you can take three out of everything. So I'd take a three out. Then you'd have to take 60R squared, divide it by three, 33R by three, and the minus nine by three. And again, you can skip that step if you can sort of do stuff in your head. Plus 11R minus three. Okay, did I do all that right? I'm finding that if I try and go fast, I, I sometimes skip stuff. So it's always good to double check. Okay, so now that I've taken the three out, now I can do my AC method with this stuff. But now I'm just dealing with 20 times three. So 20 times three is a minus 60. So things that multiply to minus 60, and they have to add to an 11. Uh, 12 times 5, no. 6, 10, no. Uh, 15 and 4, those are my guys right there. Um, but it has to, since this is positive, um, the 15 has to be positive and the 4 negative. Okay, so 3, uh, 20R squared plus 15R minus 4R minus 3. Is that right? Yep. Okay, so now let's group factor this guy and this guy. And I'm going to throw some extra brackets in just to sort of keep things straight. So I'll have a 3 out front, and then i got a mess inside. And I'm factoring out a 5 and an R. So it'll be the 20R squared divided by 5R plus 15R divided by 5R. Again, you don't have to do that step if you don't want. I'm going to change colors. The next one, yeah, I can't take anything out of that uh, except for a minus. So let's take a minus out, and then that'll change both the 4R to be positive and the 3 to be positive. Um, I guess I could have done the same thing as I had there, that leave the minus and the minus and then divide both by minus 1. I guess I could do that to be consistent. And then we'll have a 3, oh, a square bracket, square bracket 5R, then this would be 4R plus 3 minus um, 4R plus 3. Now there's no number out front here, so I would probably make sure I put a 1 there. Okay, square bracket, 3 outside, now Here's a term, and here's a term. 4r plus 3 is common to each. So I'll factor that out. So I'll put a 4r plus 3, because that's common. And then I'm left with 5r minus 1. Notice if you get to forget to put that minus 1, you might wonder what to put there. Okay, now that we've got just two brackets inside, I don't need to have those square ones anymore. So I can drop the square ones. Whoops, 5r minus 1. Leave it like that. Probably the easiest way to do it. A lot of steps, eh? You can skip some of those, but sometimes you skip a step and you make a mistake. So you could have done this another way. So you could have just done AC method with it just like that. Let me pause because somebody gave me what the numbers are so I don't have to guess them. Just a sec. Okay, they were 12 and 45. Remember that, Jeff, 12, 45. Okay, so... Um, 60R squared plus 33R minus 9. So if you multiply 9 by 60, you get 540. So two numbers that multiply to 540 and add to um, 33. Okay. So it looks like the 45 has to be positive and the 12 has to be negative. I gotta check that with my calculator though. I'm sure you're right, but double checking never a bad thing to do. So 12 times 45. Whoops. 12 times 45. 540. Those are our numbers. Perfect. So I've got then 60R squared minus 12R plus 45R. Uh, minus 9. And this stuff together would give me the 33, so I'm, I'm good. 
So now I group factor and group factor. So out of this, I think I can take a 12. So if I can take a 12 and an R out, I'm just going to skip that step. It'll be 5R minus 1, I think. I think that's right. Plus, out of these two, I think I can take a 9. And then I'd be left with 5R minus 1. Oh, perfect. So now here's a term and here's a term. They each have a 5R minus 1. So I'll factor that out. Once it's gone, I have 12R plus 9. Let's compare. Ooh, different answer. 5R minus 1's are right. Um, oh, but you take a look at this one. And this one, there's still a common factor that could come out of that. So I can leave my 5R minus 1. But out of this one, I think I can take a 3 out. So if I take a 3 out, I'm left with 4R plus 3. There we go. And usually we, we write the numbers by themselves out front. So I'll put a 3 out there, 5R minus 1, 4R plus 3. You find if you get to this point here, like you've done it correctly, and picking those 12 and 45, amazing you can find those numbers. I have a hard time finding them. But um, if you found them, uh, it'll be perfect. And the only thing you have to do is just check each factor to make sure you can't take a common factor out. And if you can take a common factor out, take it out, rewrite it like that, you're golden. Same answers I had over there. All right, hopefully that helps.